All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha'arikah, Gudash. Give honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, who do well and teach well. All right, as well as the sincere salutations to your hopeful elect Akim, who's pushing towards Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, all throughout the four winds of the earth in sincerity and in faith. Alright, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha, Rakak, Madash, Brakatham, and to you brothers, man. Okay, and we are, uh, every day we are inching closer to the, to the return of our Lord, man. Okay, and with the return of our Lord, okay, uh, sim uh simultaneously, right, is going to come the destruction of Babylon the Great. All right, aka America. So this is the book of Revelation 18 and 8. Well, actually, let's start off. That's the spirit. <laughs> All right, so this is a uh, through the spirit. This is a part two to the uh, uh, video from yesterday. Babylon is uh, is falling swiftly. All right, that, this place is falling very swiftly, man. This place is crumbling. You know, the infrastructure is crumbling. You know, the will of the people is crumbling. Everything's falling apart. You see these different, um, you see these different companies that are uh, starting to go bankrupt, starting to go under. Okay, this is just the beginning of that. You're gonna see a good majority of these companies start to shut down. Like right now, you have a uh, record high stocks. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna come with some. All right, the Dow, I believe it was the Dow, being uh, 38,000 points, you know, the highest ever. Okay, that's going to come with something. See, because you have a, a, a bubble, when that bubble grows bigger and bigger and bigger, that bubble gets to the point where it has to pop. That's the point that we at. We at the point... Well, this shit is about to pop. We about to we about to be done with this uh, uh, with this shit, man. Lord's gonna save his elect. Okay, Lord's will we be of that number? He's gonna come. Hey, he's gonna save us up out of this shit. Okay, we don't need to uh, we don't need to be up in here. We don't live in uh, living day to day suff suffering in Babylon. You know. We seen Jake suffer, you know. We seen Jake suffer. We suffer, you know. We see, hey man, Jake, and Jake is not doing. <laughs> Jake ain't doing good in this society. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you not doing too good, man. All right, we we see you on the day on, on the daily. All right, and, and all you speak about is all you know how, how great this place is. Right? How you would? Oh, you, you want you want more? You want more? Uh, really more hell? You know, you want more, more houses, more land, more money. This is gonna come with more, more problems, man. We we want to get up out of here. We know that it's the Lord's determination to get the elect of the nation of Israel out of this predicament. Okay. Uh, so continuing on, Revelation 18, and 8, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. Who is she? All right, Babylon the Great, aka America. For strong is the Lord power who judgeth her. So this is judgment from... The Heavenly Father. 
okay? This ain't no, you know what I mean? This ain't like, you know, uh, you know, us just being upset or whatever. Okay? No, this is, this is the heaven. This is the indignation of the heavenly Father. It's, it's super serious. Like the look, the, see the the anger that's gonna be shown uh, 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 towards this place through the missiles is gonna be unlike anything that's ever been seen before, ever. Ever. There's not going to be a um, a finale, so to speak, like this ever. This place is gonna go. This place is going to go up in flames. Okay, Therm thermo nuclear missiles, ICBM, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay, Revelation eighteen and nine. It says, "In the kings of the earth." Who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. All right, so you're gonna. Uh, it's not like the whole. Um, it's not like the whole earth is gonna be blown up. No, 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 no. No. Okay, so you have uh, this place, Babylon the Great, is gonna be completely fucking destroyed. All right, and then over there, that land. You know, that's supposed to be uh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, right? That, but actually belongs uh, uh, to them rats right now. <laughs> them, them, <laughs> them tunnel diggers. <laughs> you know, it, 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 okay, it belongs to you, okay, for right now, whatever, whatever. But the end result is, okay, this place going up. Uh, in, in flames being completely destroyed and then that land over there being completely destroyed as well and being cleansed okay because fire is the ultimate cleanser so what is the Lord going to do the Lord's going to fucking cleanse alright not only this place with the ICBMs but also over there as well okay we can't forget that that over there is going to be completely destroyed uh, as well all right, uh, Revelation 18 and 10, it says, Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Yeah, and, and that's because of the missiles. All right, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Yeah, because they put Salakia. But these heathens put... Uh, uh, they're, they're everything into this place. You, you have certain people that, um, you know, there, um, there are multiple generations that grew up here, right? And, and the, their, maybe their great grandparents or whatever the case is, you know, had to do all types of things to get over here. And then in order to maintain that, Right. You basically have to rule over Jake. See, by these heathens owning these different uh, re uh, these different restaurants, these different places of businesses, these, uh, you know, uh, things like that. You got to rule over Jake. You got to rule over Jake, because by being in Jake, being in Jake neighborhood, selling poison to Jake and all of that. You basically have to rule over Jake. They not see. They not gonna be worried about. Oh, what about? <laughs> what about Jake? What about this? What? No, they gonna be like. Oh man, damn. You know, all this work. You know, all this work I put in. You know, I taught my. I taught my son. He taught. He taught his son how to how to sell garments. How to, you know, because commerce. That's basically how you make the most money. Okay, the buying. Uh, the buying and selling of uh, products, man. So that's what they're gonna be worried about. They're gonna be worried about, damn, you know, I can't, I can't stack up. I can't stack my bread no more. Okay. And they're gonna be absolutely uh, uh, terrified, cause all see all this hell is breaking loose and all these things. And then, and then, and then, the missiles. The missiles, just to top it all off, it's going it's to terrify the people. See, for the people that are here in Babylon, the great AKA America, if the Lord, Yahweh Shemiah Shai, right, doesn't save you, if you are not the elect of the nation of Israel, you will be destroyed here in Babylon, the great AKA America. You will perish. It's, it, it's, not a, uh, it's not up for debate. You will perish here. If the Lord doesn't deliver you out of here, you will perish. Okay? 
And because uh, 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 that's written, man. That's written. Okay, the second death it speaks about the second death. You know, basically, uh, whoever isn't of the elect of the nation of Israel, you're going to be destroyed here in Babylon the Great, aka America. Okay, and everyone all around the world is going to see it. They're going to see it. Everybody from outside of this place is going to witness that. <clears throat> it says, uh, Revelation 18 and 12. The merchandise of gold and silver. All right. So, the, you know, the money, the money system and precious stones and of pearls and fine linen. All right. And these precious stones and pearls and fine linen. It doesn't just go. It doesn't just mean like a. Uh, you know, bed sheets or, or, you know, uh, that doesn't just mean just diamonds, you know, these different, uh, metals and, uh, you know, precious stones and precious metals and things. These are in your electronics. These are in, you know, all of your technology, you know, right. Uh, and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thine wood and all manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of precious wood and of brass and iron and marble. See, and all these elements make up, you know, all the things uh, that you see in the industrial world today, you know, brass, iron, copper, you know, all right, it says and cinnamon and odors and ointments yet. And, and see, this is in a uh, ancient sense, but now you have a, uh, you know, you got different products with, you know, things in it, you know, and that's multi, that's multi-billion dollar business. Okay. It says in cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. Yeah, that damn near covers, you know, everything. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee. Yeah, the, that Rolls Royce, you know, your, your woman looking at, see, because uh, 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 you, you fucking heathens, your woman, your woman look at you like a, um, like a king damn near. So all that shit, all, all the, you know, oh, he's such a great man. He does, he does this, he does that. All that's going to be over with. Okay. All this, see all this making money, all this, all this shit is coming to an end. Okay. And the fruits that thy soul lusted after are departed from thee and all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee. You know, the little, <laughs> you know, especially Jake, man, Jake liked to, you know, he just likes the little, the, you know, he likes to go to the, the hookah bar with his Christian Louis Vuitton shoes on. With a, with, a, with a dangly cross earring. You know fucking Jake, man. Jake Jake is through in 2024. Jake is all weird and bugged out. Jake got on shorts with pants under him. You know, wearing a fucking a, a tilted hat. With, with one big sleeve, one little sleeve. You know? <laughs> Jake got fucking tattoos all over his face. Multicolored dreads. This nigga is gone, man. All right, but anyways, in, uh, continuation of Revelation 18 and 14. And all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee, and thou shalt find no slack and thou shalt find them no more at all. All this shit, man. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. Yeah, because these people are some of the richest people on the earth. So they're going to be they're going to be standing off from a distance whether that be in their uh bunkers you know somewhere you know outside of here whether that be uh, uh you know their giant um their giant uh salakia their giant uh yachts you know things like that uh, it says in saying alas alas that great city right america that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Yeah, because look, hey, look at how the people treat this place. They almost treat this place like a it's like a whore. It's like a whore with unlimited resources. 
That's basically what this place is. It's like a, it's like a woman, it's like a woman who can't keep her fucking legs closed, and she has all the money that she could want. And that's why the women here, um, they're under that vibration of basically a rich hoe. That's what these bitches want to be in this society. You basically want to be a rich hoe. Okay, you want to be a rich whore. Okay. In the format of this place, how this place is set up, is set up after the self-proclaimed white man and how he wants things. See, because all these, all these, especially Eve, oh, I'm a bad bitch, I'm a bad bitch. Basically, you want to be like Esau, right? Like when you see Eve, uh, like Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, when they have these different uh, music videos where they have men serving them, men feeding them grapes, uh, carrying them, fanning them, you know, it's all about, um, building up the woman's ego here in America. That's because it's, it's the vibration of the so-called white man. See the, so see the so-called white man ha has the, um, see a, a, a bad, a, a bad bitch has, uh, the spirit of the so-called white man. That's basically what they, um, that's basically what they, uh, uh vibe with what they resonate with basically okay somebody's serving them at all times while they talk shit and rule but this, this it, it ain't it ain't going down like that this place is going to be destroyed man uh revelation 18 and 17 for one hour so once again in one hour for one hour so great riches is come to naught and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, right? Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, saying, what city is like unto this great city? Because there is no, what other country is doing shit on this kind of level? Like, who, who else is... is Taking something that costs, you know, ten dollars and making it two thousand dollars. What what other um place has women selling uh, mason jars with their bath water in it? You know, for hundreds of dollars a pop. Only here in America. <laughs> only here in America. It's only here in America that you're seeing all these different instances of this grand. Uh, elaborate wealth. You have certain certain women. They don't even know fucking you know ten times ten, and they have millions of dollars. You know through you know these different avenues. You know OF. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, so called IG modeling. All you know, these different things. A lot of these women are escorts too, man. Because once again, this is this is, uh, um, this has the vibe of a, of a whore. This whole entire, this whole entire, um, country, right? This giant city, right? America being this giant city. It's basically when you're here, right? If the Lord is not working with you, if you're just here, if you're just a two thirds nigga in the world here, you have the, uh, mindset, uh, basically a bad bitch. All right. Well, I can just be here. I can sit a queen. I don't have to worry about shit. I'm good. Right. Jake think he going two thirds of Israel think he going to ride this out. No, this is going to happen. Revelation 18 is going to happen. Uh, Revelation 18 and 18 and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, what city is like unto this great city? And they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, alas, alas, that great city, America, wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea. By reason of her costliness, for in one hour she made desolate, completely destroyed. Completely destroyed. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets. So rejoice. The elect, hey, the elect is going to rejoice, right? For how about Shemiah Shai hath avenged you on her. Okay, Lord, will we be of that number? And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying... Thus with violence shall that shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. 
Woo! And the voice of the harpers and, mus and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. And no craftsman of whatsoever craft he be shall be found any more in thee. And the sound of a millstone shall be heard no more at all in thee. Yeah, the grinding is going to cease. This place is going to be fucking destroyed. This, is, this place is going to be destroyed. Verse 23. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and the and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. This place is going to be fucking desolate. It's going to be leveled. Okay? For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. Yeah, so... Uh, these different uh, CEOs of uh, let's just start naming let's just start naming them, might as well. Uh, Unilever, Unilever uh, Monsanto, uh, Mondelez, uh, Amazon, you know, uh, Target, Walmart, uh, Alibaba. You know, these different, you know, multi-billion dollar. See, these these people, they, 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 they not wanting this place to be destroyed, man. That's why they're going to be crying. crying. They're going to be like, oh, man, I, I can't believe it. How am I going to make my money? <laughs> you know? Uh, continuation of Revelation 18 and 23. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Yeah, and, and not only that, not only are they the merchants as far as physical stuff, uh, these, these same individuals that put their money um, uh, into these products, they also have put all the money into media, right? And this is all the so-called white man. Uh, they've put all their money into media. So when you turn on the TV and you see a commercial for uh, fucking Oreos, and then it switches to, you know, whatever... TV channel, the same nigga owns, <laughs> the same nigga owns the Oreos that owns the station. It's all CDs and, and, and you know, starting off uh, with the Edomites, you know, more, and more specifically Amalek, you know, which are, which are the, uh, um, you, uh, uh, the people here on the earth consider them the JEWs. Right, Amalek. And Amalek is controlling all this. Esau Edom is controlling all of this, man. Revelation 18 and 23. In the light of a candle shall, shall shine no more at all in thee. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. For by their sorceries were all nations deceived. So yeah, through the media, through the food. All right, this nigga... He putting certain things in the food to make you, you know, feel down, you know, to make that's real. That's real, man. You know, that's real. That's real talk. These different dyes and colors. It says in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. So, hey, man, it's going to it's going gonna, it's gonna to get bad. It's going to get bad. Get, hey, and also the famine of the word is coming. They're going to be getting physical. All right, brothers ain't going to be out on the highways and byways teaching when all hell is breaking loose. Lord is going to remove us far out of the way. Lord, will we be of that number? You know, that's what, hey, we're hoping. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Just to see that. Babylon is falling. All right. Babylon is falling swiftly. Okay. So with that, Lord's will, you are edified. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ha Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, GMS, who rule well and teach well. And the sincere salutations to you, hopeful elect Akim. All right, you sincere brothers all across the four winds of the earth, teaching and pushing the words of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim. Ha, Rakakwadash, Baraka Thumb, unto you brothers, man. Continue to keep your head up through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Yeah, hey, saying that name never gets old. Baraka Thumb, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, because he, he showed us, you know, through the elder apostles of Great Millstone. All right? He, sh he showed us 
what's to take place, man. Okay, through the spirit and power of Yah Bashim Shai, working through the elder apostles of Great Millstone. So like it. In the, in the spirit of Yah Bashim Shai, working through Israelite men. The sincere, sincere Israelite men out there on the highways and byways. All right, which, to, which today, the men of the Lord today uh, will be called uh, the elder apostles of Great Millstone on down. Right, the elder uh, bishops of Great Millstone. You know, the, the elder apostles of Great Millstone, those are the uh, top ranking men of the Lord uh, today. Those, those are what you would call the men of the Lord today. Uh, the, and the men that learned up under that learned up under them. So us learning up under the elder apostles of Great Millstone, right? We are considered the uh, the men of the Lord today. Who who the Lord was walking around uh, and teaching with was so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? And the spirit and power of Yah Bashim Yashai that was, that was dwelling in them and is dwelling in them, right? Because we are our forefathers. We're out on the highways and byways teaching the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Right? And that is gathering up the elect, which the Lord has already uh, preordained. Let me get that. Let me end on that. Foundation of The foundation of the earth. That's how. <laughs> that's how one of the uh, brothers from uh, uh, GMS Jamaica, GMS Jamaica X, I believe, subscribe to them and be edified, brothers out there. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. This um, this isn't exactly what I was trying to get, but this is this is beautiful. Zechariah twelve and one: The burden of the word of the Lord for Israel, saith the Lord, which stretcheth forth the heavens, and layeth the foundation of the earth, and formeth the spirit of man within him. Yeah. So the Lord chose the elect from the jump. The elect of the nation of Israel has his. It, it's always. Uh, uh, been set up for the elect to rule. Okay, he's the one. He's the one who gave the spirit and power of Yah Bashim Yahshai to us, man. To the Israelites, Lord's will we be of that elect number, man. Shalom.